Shalom. Before I begin this video, first of all, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect that is also doing his work in our faith, true sincerity, and giving our diligence. Now, the topic of this video is going to be entitled um, Discerning the Signs of the Times. Because, you know, as of today, August uh, 21st, um, we just now had a solar eclipse that just uh, took place here in America. And um, as you saw it, you know, um, those of you that was tuning in to the, uh, uh, the live streams that was going on during during this uh, this event, you had uh, people, or should I say the majority of the people, were um, out, you know, having cookouts, you know, barbecuing, you know, playing music, you know, partying while uh, the eclipse was uh, taking place. And what they don't realize is that this eclipse is is one of the signs that is prophesied in the Bible, the King James Version, 1611, in the book of Joel, chapter 2. Because it speaks about the signs being showed in the, in the, um, the heavens, which is uh, the atmosphere, the skies, to show us, uh, well, you know, basically to give us uh, a clue or a hint, so to speak, of when this place, which is uh, Babylon the Great in the scriptures, this when, when this place is about to go down, man. All right? And see, this solar eclipse is a sign of this place about to collapse, man. Society, as you know it, is about to change, man. All right? And it's not... It's not coincidental that we had uh, the solar eclipse right around the time to when you had uh, a controversy going down in um, Charlotte, Charlotte's, uh, Charlottesville, Virginia. If I'm um, if I'm saying it right, you had a controversy going on in Virginia, right? And lo and behold, here you have a solar eclipse. All right, so. The Lord is stirring the pot, man. Yahweh, whom whom is uh the heavenly father, whom the word in called God, and um um uh, Yahweh Shai, whom the word in the called Jesus. Yahweh Bashim Shai is stirring up the pot, man. Alright? It's about to make things happen. So pretty soon we're about to witness the Lord visiting this this um the earth which he made which is also um quoted in the scriptures all right the lord is about to uh visit um the earth man and he's about to return and to deliver the hopefully lick which we uh we hope that we're a part of that number man all right And like I said before, man, these people see it as entertainment, like it's something to the uh to uh behold as, as like something that's that's that, you know, just having a great time and laughing it up, not knowing that their society is about to crash, man. Their world the world that they know is about to end. Alright? This is another step towards the end of Esau's world. And these people don't understand that because they, they don't believe in prophecy. They think it's um Something that's scientific, like I give an example, like you know, the earth being made by a big bang. You know, these people, um, on that tip of, of thinking about scientific facts, you know, how this happened, but but see, the Lord did, uh, did this for a reason, man. All right, and like I said before, man, it's, it's no coincidence that we just recently had a solar eclipse, man. You see, things are spiraling out of control, you see the mark of the beast, which is the RFID Marco trip. You see the technology being made manifest, all right? You seeing the uproars of the people. You seeing wars and rumors of wars, commotions. You see earthquakes. You just re we recently had blood moons uh, last year, if I'm not mistaken, all right? You see, um, and, and um, you seeing all these things happen, and you know these people still don't believe, man. After all of these, these things has been happening. 
uh, throughout the years. These people don't don't believe it, man. All right. And it's only, you know, it's only fair that they don't believe it, man. All right. Because we've been out there on the highways and byways prophesying week in and week out. Telling you what's what and what's about to happen. Warning you about the, the things that are about to come. The prophecies is about to happen. And our, our people, specifically, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, don't believe it, man. All right? You know, because things are not, you know, um, spiraling out of control like, like they expect it to be. Well, the thing is that the Lord does it in his own way, man. All right? And also, too, the Lord himself, man, it's not going to be something that's, you know, um, just a little here and there. No, man, when it, when the time comes, it's going to come as a thief in the night, man. It's just going to happen at, at the blink of an eye. All right. One, one event's going to happen, which leads to another event, which leads to another event. All right. And these people and they're not going to expect it, man. You know, that would, you know, that would make null and void, you know, the Lord returning as a thief in the night. Because when this thing goes down, man, these people are not going to expect that, man. It's going to be a uh, sudden. All right. So when that, when the RFID Marco chip is made mandatory, you know, um, pretty much, man, that's, that's, that's going to be a mandate, man. That's what, that's why, that's why we uh, say it's going to be made mandatory. All right. So everyone's going to have to take it. You're going to be forced to take it. All right. It's going to be required of you by Esau, which is a so-called white man. All right. But uh, not to get too far off topic. Uh, like I said before, this this is a sign from the Lord. Yeah. How about Shimei Shai that America is done for? America is done. The society is about to crash. The, the economy is about to crash. And your your precious America that you love so much is about to be taken out of the way. It's going to be blown away by thermonuclear destruction. Now, this is Second Ezra chapter nine verse one. It reads, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made." All right. So it's telling you right there, man, and by us doing this work, man, we're measuring the time digitally. All right. Because we're 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 the watchmen. All right. We're watching for uh prophecies to happen. We're watching the news, or right? keeping up with the news and reporting on it. Watching uh events like this, uh, uh, also this event, you know, as, as far as uh, the solar eclipse goes, we report on that. All right, so we're measuring the time digitally, all right. And we're seeing part of the signs past, which, like I said before in the book of Jerusalem, chapter 2, that's part of the signs passing, man. All right. Now, verse 2 said, then shalt thou understand that it's the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And see, now that we had the solar eclipse, we had the sun being darkened, which, like I said before in the book of Jerusalem, chapter 2, now we seen, saw the sun being darkened, right? And the moon turning to blood. All right. And which, um... Actually, I'm going to get that in a second, but let me um, finish this. Uh, I'm starting at verse 2 again. It said, Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right? Now, let's go to the book of um, Joel. Right? Uh, let's see. Just to make it quick, I'm going to do a, a word search. All right? And that's the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse uh Actually, no, this is, this is uh, not the one. Uh, it's like you bear me for one second while I get it. Should be Joel chapter 2. Alright, here it is. That's the book of Joel chapter 2, verse, uh, verse 30. It says, And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness. In the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. And so here it is. You have it right here in the book of Jerusalem, chapter 2, verse 31. It's telling you that the sun is going to be darkened, right? And the moon is going to be turned into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. So now 
that this happened, you're about to witness a complete shift in, uh, for lack of a better term, you're going to see a complete shift in, in, in this, uh, this, uh, world that we live in, man. All right. You're going to see a whole lot of stuff happen, man. You're going to see prophecies have popping off left and right. And you're going to see the men of the Lord receiving power from on high, man. All right. You know, people don't believe that, but hey, we here. That is that is our uh, prophesying doing the work. We 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 uh, believe that wholeheartedly, man. One hundred percent. All right. Now back in Second Ezra chapter nine verse three, it said, "Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and that's what we're seeing, man. Are we not seeing uproars of the people in the world? Are we not seeing these uh these protests happening?" You know, these uh, so-called white supremacists rising up, you know, um, trying to make their voice heard. So that's uproars of the people, man. <clears throat> All right. So this lets you know that, like like it says right here, back in verse 2 of 2nd Ezra 9, and, um, and that's a damn demon. Uh, like it says right here in 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 2, it says, uh, Then that shall thou understand that is the very same time we're in the highest we begin to visit the world which he made man all right so he's about to visit the world which he made okay and like the scriptures say he's not gonna meet you as a, actually let me you know i'm steady quoting him i'm gonna get it um uh let's see oh it's like it i misspelled it All right, now this is uh, the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 3. It says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. It's talking about Babylon, man. All right? Actually, I'm going to start at verse 1, man. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm not doing the scripture any justice, man. Let me start at verse 1. It says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne. O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. All right, so I say, look, man, look, come and sit down on the dust in the confusion, oh Babylon, because Babylon, going to the word Babylon, it uh, goes to the Hebrew word Baba, which means confusion. All right, it says there is no throne, man, O oh, daughter of the Chaldeans, for that shall no more be called tender and delicate. And these other nations looking at America as, as a as a piece of shit, man. These America, they, man, they don't care about America anymore, man. They they. Uh, turning tails and uh, going back into their own lands, man. That's also a part of prophecy. All right. Verse two it said, "Take the millstones and grind mill. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man." So the Lord, right here, and this is the point that I wanted to get. It says that the Lord is not going to meet you as a man. All right. He's going to meet you as an angelic force. All right. So those of you that are desiring the day of the Lord, you know, um, it's going to be a rude awakening for you, man. All right. Because they expect the Lord to come back and, and be on, on a nice, nice attitude with these people. But the, the harsh reality is that the Lord is going to come back in the, in a furious warlike, uh, Behavior, man. Uh, you know, for lack of a better term, he's gonna come back as a warrior, man. He's gonna come back as an angelic force. He's not gonna be that same, uh, that same. Uh, he's not gonna be in the same state as he was back when he was walking the earth during the time of the uh, apostles. All right. Now going back to Second Ezra chapter nine and verse four, it says, "Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee." Even from the beginning, for like as all that is uh, made in the world has the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest having have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and, and oh wait and endings and effects and signs. All right. 
So there you go, man. It says that even so, the times also of the highest having plain beginnings, wonderful and powerful works, and endings, right? Because we're at the end, right? This is this is known as the end times, man. All right. It says in endings, in effects, and signs. Okay. So are, are we not seeing signs in these last days? I mean, we just had uh, the recent um, solar eclipse that just happened. You know, last year we had blood moons. We had um, all these different things happening left and right that Yahweh Shai prophesied about, and the things that are written in the scriptures. That's was that was uh, those things were prophesied, man. Those things were written thousands of years ago. I mean, it's like it was written uh, thousands of years ago, and now you're seeing it happen now, right before your face. Okay. That's verse 8. Actually, verse 7 is like it. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. And that's the thing, too, man. You, uh, faith in works, man. If you have the faith, if you truly have the faith, you're going to continue to do the work. All right? Whereby ye have believed. Okay? That's how we're going to escape, man. The only way that you can escape out of this, this, uh, this coming hellfire. Is through your faith in Yahweh Bashim Shai and your works. If you go into the book of James, it said, Look, faith faith without works is dead, man. Alright? If I'm quoting it right, in the book of James, where it says, uh, uh, Show me, show me uh, thy works, and I'll show you my faith by my works. Alright? Now that's verse 8. It says, uh, Shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. And man, this verse, man, let me read this again. It says, Shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and, and within my borders. All right. So reiterating verse 7 said you're going to the only way to get out of here is if you escape by your works and through faith which you have believed all right and, and you're going to be preserved from the set perils and see the salvation of Yahweh Shem Shai, the salvation of the election along with the one third all right now and it says and it goes on to say is that for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning from the beginning from the beginning all right so from the beginning, it was already ordained who was going to uh, make it up out of here who wasn't, man. All right. And we know this. Us is in the know. We know this, man. We know this is written. All right. You know, not only in 2nd Andrews 9 verse 8, but there's other places where it's written about how the Lord already knew who was the one that's other righteous, who was the wicked. We already know that, man. Okay. But see, here it is, man. The, the Spirit reveals who's, who's really sincere and who's... Uh, really about this all right because yeah we know this right we know that the lord already chosen the uh the ones that's going to be delivered but look at what we're doing man we're putting up shows we're uh warning the people we're, pro we're actually doing a job of a prophet which the prophet is supposed to prophesy man which the word uh prophecy means to say before all right Now, continuing on in verse 9, it said, Then shall that be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. All right. So, actually, let me read on, man. Yeah, I'm going to read on. Uh, For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. All right. I'm talking about these people, man. And, and I'm talking about really talking about Jake, man. All right, you you receive your consolation here in America, man. But your time of uh, living it up and wickedness here in America is up, man. Your your time is over. All right. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, so you had time to get right, man. You can't go up to the Lord and say, "Man, I didn't know, man." Uh, you know, uh, you no, know, you can't come to the Lord like that, man. He said, "Look, you had liberty. You get yourself in order." To get your mind right with the Lord, and you didn't take advantage of it, man. You didn't. You didn't care. That's the bottom line, man. You 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 didn't care. I'm talking. I'm talking to the two thirds, man. All right. The two thirds don't care about you. How about Shemuel Shine? What he wants. They want what they want. They 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 they're too busy trying to get that thing going. 
you know, trying to get what's theirs, you know. And read on, it says, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. So you despise that, that grace period, man. All right. And the ones of you that say, well, I, I got grace already, so I'm good. You know, I, the Lord, you know, only the Lord can judge me. You know, only, only the most high can judge me, man. You don't, you know, no man can judge me. Hey, you, you taking advantage of that, man. Right. You, you understood not and you despised it. All right. Now, verse 12, it said the same must know it after death by pain. And I'm going to end it right there, man. That's a perfect verse to end this, this lesson off on. Look, the ones of you that, that you, yeah, you had liberty to get your mind right with the Lord. You didn't, you didn't, um, acknowledge the how about Shimei Shai. You despised it. And you didn't understand, all right, which is already set up in the spirit anyway, which we know that, which we don't really lose sleep over that, all right? You're going to know it after death by pain, man, okay? So after after you die by pain, you're, you're going to, um, you're going to know it, man, all right? You're going to realize that. That this is the truth. This thing of ours that we're involved in was the truth. You're gonna remember us right right at the brink of death and when you come back. Alright. So with that, you know, uh Lord willing the Akin was edified with this video. Um till next time, once again I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. And uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well. And um, shalom to the hopeful elect, uh, peace and safety um, to the hopeful elect that is also um, pushing this gospel to the other members of the hopeful elect in faith, truth, and sincerity, and um, and giving giving a much labor of love. And with that, I'm gonna say shalom.